Hey everybody, Tony from LFTC Presents here. And today I'm excited to show you the new Works PowerShare electric cooler. Now I have the huge Yeti, I have the small Yeti. We take lots of road trips and we take those Yetis with us everywhere we go. But the one downside is ice. Yes, the Yeti keeps ice for a good couple days with no problem. But eventually you have to drain it, get more ice and repeat the process. Plus the ice takes up a lot of room in your cooler. The Works PowerShare fixed that problem. You don't need ice. This thing will go to negative four and all the way up to 68 degrees. You can use a little panel right here and change the temperature to whatever you need. I found beer and soda, the sweet spot's 38 degrees. This cooler is the equivalent of the Yeti 24 quart. It holds up to 35 cans, but the Yeti doesn't hold 35 cans because you have all the ice. This doesn't run out with ice. It runs off electricity. This is truly like having a portable refrigerator or freezer wherever you go. This side of the cooler is where the batteries go. You have a digital LCD screen here so you can adjust the temperature to wherever you want. This side is the cooler. So what does the cooler come with? Well, you have two options. You can buy just the cooler if you already have a bunch of the PowerShare work batteries, or you can get the kit. That's what I have here. And it comes with the AC adapter that plugs into the wall and then plugs into your cooler. It also has the AC adapter for your car. You know, the cigarette lighter. Yeah, you heard me right, young ones. We used to have cigarette lighters in our car. But whatever you want to call it now, that's where this plugs into. Good size cord. So it usually reaches from the front or if you have it in your center console to the back with no problem. I have an outback, so there's a uh, AC plug in the very back. It also comes with the charger for the house and it comes with two batteries. That's the other beautiful part about this cooler. You can plug it in the wall, you can plug it in your car, or you don't have to plug it in at all. Now my experience with the cooler, we took it on a road trip. We plugged these bad boys in. I got up to 10 hours at 40 degrees in the cooler. That's with leaving it in the car. So you know, it kind of gets warm in the car. To me, that's amazing. And the other thing I really like about it is when you have it plugged in to the car with this adapter, it charges the batteries. And then when you make your pit stop and you turn your car off and there's no more power going to it, then it kicks into battery mode. So you figure, depending on your temperature, up to six to 10 hours just on battery mode. Then when you start your car back up and you have that plugged in, it starts charging the batteries back up. That's an amazing feature because I'm kind of cheap and on the way down to Florida, we just slept in the car. So we just pulled up to the rest stop, turned the car off, it went into battery mode. I got about five hours worth of sleep, started the car back up. This, everything in here is still nice and cold and it starts charging your batteries back up. All right, let me show you the inside of the cooler. Here's a look at the inside. Like I said, it hold about 35 cans. Um, we really used it. I put in a 12 pack of sodas, a couple bottled waters, a couple energy drinks, and then some Ziploc baggies full of snacks. Pepperoni, cheese and stuff, put it right on top. Everything stayed ice cold. And then when we were in the hotel, we had extra pizza and stuff left over or any other um, doggy bags we had. We would just throw it right in there. It would stay nice and cold. Here's how you put the batteries in. Like I said, you have the battery pack right here, or battery area, and you just line it up, push them in. Turn it on and it'll drop down to 35 degrees within 15 minutes. I do suggest um, before you put all your sodas and everything in it, start it up, get it get down to 35 degrees, then put your stuff in there. Get home. Take out the batteries. I never leave the batteries in there if I'm not using it. Slide them on here. Go plug it in and let them stay charged till you need the cooler. Now, great thing is if you have any more work products like the leaf blower or the um, any other hand tools, these batteries are interchangeable with any of them. So no matter what work product you have, if it has the power share, you can use these batteries. So in essence, you can go get a couple more of these, have them charged up, throw two in, have two for backup, 
Man, you're, you're good all day long just on battery power. One of my favorite things is, as you can see, when we stayed at our friend's house, my wife literally put this next to the bed and used it as a nightstand because it does have a USB port right here. So she would plug her phone into it every night and it was charging the batteries. It was keeping all of our stuff cold and charging her phone. And yes, that USB does work when you're just on battery power alone. Okay, now, I know it's cool, I know you want it, but what's it cost? Well, normal price is $499 for the kit. But if you're looking at a Yeti or something, that's about the same price. Plus, don't forget, you can take this to the beach and run just off of battery power and everything stays cold. Or, if you're a sports mom or dad and it's your time for treats, you can bring ice cream or popsicles and throw it in here, drop it down to negative four, and everything stays ice cold. Work always has a sale on their products. Go to the Work website, I'll leave a link below. You'll spin a wheel, it'll give you up to 20% off. And I can't say enough, this little cooler is amazing. I've had the cooler for about a month now. I've taken it on three road trips and it has outperformed any other cooler I've had the whole time. It is super quiet in the car. You cannot hear it at all. I had to check back there and make sure it was still on most of the time. But that's it. If you're looking for an awesome cooler that's gonna last a long time, then I would definitely go with the Work Power Station electric cooler. All right, my friends, that's gonna do it for today. So happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate, happy whatever. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Tony with LFTC Presents.